this is Deborah J. Kelly and welcome to the Better Legend Honour Awards. Um, there are ten people who are being nominated this evening, so it's a real honour, I think, um, tonight to be one of those ten. I'm actually standing next to a gentleman who I believe is going to receive an award. Yes, indeed. So can you tell us your name and a little bit about what you do in the community? Yeah, my name is Julius Badoto. I'm a journalist. I've worked for most of the TV channels. I've been I've worked for BBC for very many years, ITV as well. Oh, wow. I've, well also, I've also been a political commentator for channels like Sky News, um, Arise News, and uh, several other international uh, channels like Press TV and, and more. So is this your first Best Nomination Award or have you been involved with Dr. Kuli Long for, you know, before? As a journalist, I've covered her work yes. way before yes. for so many years. Yes. But in terms of BEFTA, it's not my first because actually my newspaper in former East Africa yes. has been voted UK's best community newspaper well a few done. times. Well done, congratulations. A few times through the BEFTAs. So, Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me and um, I'd like to, I'm, I'm quite excited to be here tonight now. Thank you. Thank 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 you. you. I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome back to the BESTA Honours and Legendary Awards. I'm standing next to another winner for this evening. Would you like to tell our viewers a little bit about what you do and also your name, please? My name is Victor Richards. I'm an actor, poet, storyteller. Um, I specialise in one man shows. Right. I've got three plays, three stage of the Return to the Caribbean and Truth of the First Generation. They're done in a story time. Plays, and they mostly use for workshops with schools and universities. They've been on top of this for 25 years now. So they're very much aimed at elders, groups, and a, a wide range of people from the case of Japan and other parts of the world. Uh, but I'm based in the UK. So, what does this award mean to you? You know, uh, after 25 years of touring one of the main plays, Streets Play It Cool, which has now been turned into a nominated British and festival uh, music event, it means a lot. It's, uh, it's an achievement in itself in the fact that uh, you never realize how much work you put in until people tell you how much work right. you put in. You know? So it's a very special evening for me, yes. and I've got over 50, 60 people, friends who come and support, the phone is going all day, people, <laughs> and says, that's enough, that's enough, you know. So it, it's a very special uh, honour for me. Congratulations for winning this award this evening. You haven't actually got it in your hand. <laughs> Not yet. Congratulations, no. and um, may many more come your way. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome back to the BESTA Honorary Awards. I'm standing next to two nominees. Um, yeah, it's an exciting evening. Um, ten people are being honoured. You're one of them. How do you feel about that? I am one of those ten. And this morning, uh, I heard the good news about the nomination. It was, and I, I jumped out of bed and I leapt here. <laughs> I leapt out here because I've been nominated, uh, doing stand-up, doing uh, acting, doing comedy for some time. And to get this recognition, it's, like, it's lovely. It's great. I it's quite so special, isn't it, for ten people? It is. Those ten people. Ten people. They are officially legends. And yes. uh, I love to be a legend uh, all day long. Uh, Tell us about your stand-up comedy. Where can we find you? Uh, well, I'm doing a lot of community stand-up now. Uh, like, for example, I'm doing a, a, a special thing. Diabetes is quite close to my mm -hmm. heart. So I'm doing a, a, a tour at the end of the month for diabetes. It's Manchester, Bradford, um, and then Coventry and Leicester. Uh, it's to help uh, to uh, deal with diabetes. Yes, yes. But the main thing I'm doing, you can see me on the BBC um, uh, TV pilot called um, Hounslow Diaries. And also a Sky um, program called um, Comedy Short, which I'm on. And also a movie in the new year called Blinded by the Light. It's a movie, and in that movie, uh, the music of The Boss, you know The Boss, Bruce Springsteen? Mm, and of course. It's directed by Gwyneth Chandler. My and era. I, and, I, and I have a part in that movie, and so I'm very grateful for it. You know, you're great. You're great That's incredible. Well done. Thank it's you. been lovely to speak to you. I'm looking forward to watching you win your award. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name is Jeff Mirza. Please keep it locked in. 
next to you, we have a beautiful lady. She said hello to me. I think that she is also a nominee. Give us your name and tell us a little bit about how you got involved with uh, this. Okay, my name is Cheryl Armour Trading and I'm a director of a foundation called Antoine Antoine Achievement Foundation in memory of my son. And what we do, we tribute young people, adults, celebrities, and awards. We work around the community helping others, using the arts and giving them a platform so they become mm -hmm. celebrities as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. So how do you know Dr. Pauline Long? I met Dr. Pauline Long, my son actually took me along to an award event um, a few years ago and we've been very close friends since then. She's an amazing mm -hmm. woman and I really she is. It's an honour to be here and a privilege and I really, really, really cherish all the good work that she's doing. Congratulations on your nomination. It's been so lovely to speak to you. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank, Thank you. I've got another person in the wings here. Quick. Come on, Danny. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, Let's have a you. chat with you. Thank you. You said to me you haven't seen me for two years. Yeah, it's been two oh years. Oh my goodness, it's too long. Uh, yeah. Danny, tell us about what you've been doing, what you've been up to in those two years. Uh, well, in those two years, I've been arranging my own awards. I have my own awards coming up with another award. And I've been flying out to Ghana to up the world to do film. Right. Um, you know, I've been in the industry for quite a while. Yes. So I'm now more into the African circuit. So yes. I'm still going on to an international level. And it's going very well. Nation, I know that I see you at the best as anyway. Yeah. Um, I know that you've been nominated times before, but this mm. is only 10 people. How do you feel about that? I've not been nominated personally. It's a friend of mine in Ghana, ah. named Fred Amadou. Okay. And he's featured on the BBC, uh, Hobie City in Ghana. There was a Guardian oh, version of Hobie amazing. City. Amazing. Okay. And he's been in the industry since 1962. Right. And it's quite very mm -hmm. well known in the whole of the industry. So yes. I I've said to Pauline, no, this gentleman has to be honoured. Yes. You know, because yes. he's still relevant, still going on yes. now. Yes. So, so you're collecting the award for him? On his behalf, yes. Okay. That's correct, yes. So, he's, he's not here. So what have you got planned in the future? Well, I've, what I've got planned is to do my own film. My right. next year, people will be hearing of my own you know, stories, you know, at the moment I'm just working on other... So apart from me? <laughs> oh yes, of course it has to be, you know, <laughs> it has to be, yeah, we have to mix it up. So I mean, people should watch out 2019, they should hear more of what I'm going to do. So Danny Erskine, yeah. everybody, yeah. where can I find you? Is it on Facebook? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, I'm on Twitter as well, so you can pick up from there. And um, if any of my films you want to see, just Google it and you can find it. Thank you yeah. so much, pleasure yeah. to talk to you. you Thank too. you. Thank you. Okay.